Hey everybody, welcome to Real Estate Investing Texas. This is my brand new YouTube channel. I started to take all of you on my real estate journey with me as I grow and learn as both an investor and a sales agent. Great news, got my real estate agent's license yesterday, passed both the state and national portion of the exam's first try, which was great. Um, and and uh, really just wanna take you guys through how to pass those tests, how to be successful, the tools that I used, and, and how my journey went. So uh, before I get too far into this, I do wanna let you guys know that, that no company that I'm talking about today in this video or product that I use is paying me to say anything that I'm going to talk about. Everything that I'm gonna tell you about is my own personal feeling and nothing more than that. Cool. So let's talk about exactly uh, how and why I became a real estate agent. Uh, my primary job is I'm active duty military. And uh, last year, my wife and I went ahead and, and bought our first investment property, a vacation rental down on the beach in Galveston, Texas. And we had such a great experience with uh, our agent and learning from her. We thought that maybe going through the courses ourselves would really benefit us in our investor journey. And that culminated to me actually finishing the courses and becoming a licensed agent here in the state of Texas. Uh, so I want to tell you guys about uh, the programs that I use to, to get my education done as well as get through the testing process. So first, in March last year, I started with Aceable Agent. They're an online education company and they will take you start to finish through your six courses of real estate education, all the way from Principles of Real Estate 1, 2, and then all the way through the contracts and promulgated contracts courses here in Texas. Uh, that experience was great. I really enjoy the videos that they used. Uh, as well as the quizzes in in within the the courses uh, that make you stay engaged, uh, especially when you're studying late at night or, or distracted a little bit. Those questions make you stay engaged, and the videos really help explain things. They also have scenario-based learning within the courses that I think really helps drive home some of the more important um, aspects of the courses that will really benefit you during the tests. Speaking of tests, one of the most uh, beneficial things that I found to Aceable Agent was I could take all of my tests on my computer at home with a proctor looking at me through a camera. Much easier than having to schedule a test and go test somewhere else six different times. Uh, now, while you do have to take your national and state exam at a, an accredited testing center through Pearson View, uh, the rest of the course uh, final exams can be done from home, which was extremely beneficial, especially when you're doing this as uh, a part-time education or from home. So let's talk about uh, how I prep for the test. Got through my six courses and really decided after I finished the sixth course, the best way to press forward was get the state and national exams done as quick as possible, retaining as much information as possible from the, the previous courses. It did take me nine months to get through the courses. I'll be honest, I was very relaxed in getting through my courses. I didn't rush things. Uh, I really kind of took my time and I did it when it was convenient. I've heard of people going through Aceable Agent in five weeks and getting their license on the second or third try of the test. Um, and it really, it's just whatever benefits you and whatever works for you. Once I completed the courses, I downloaded the Prep Agent app. And the guy who runs Prep Agent, uh, his courses and, and his, his theories behind how to pass the test really seem to be spot on. And they worked for me. The national exam uh, has about a 50% pass rate, I believe. Um, and Aceable Agent boasts a very, very high first time pass rate. I think theirs is up over 85%. That's one of the reasons why I went with them, but also because they were on Groupon and they were cheap, right? Uh, but anyway, back to Prep Agent. Um, the, the, the guy who runs Prep Agent, and I really wish I could remember his name, uh, he puts on some great webinars talking through the vocabulary, and there it is, keyword is vocabulary, vocabulary, vocabulary. He harps on vocabulary from day one of getting into his software, and I believe in it now. Now that I've taken the national exam, I 100% firmly believe that if you just know your vocabulary, you're going to get through the national exam with no issue, because even the tougher questions that are worded uh, in, in, in stories or, or much longer problems, you're gonna have the base of knowledge to be able to start excluding answers just based on the fact that you know your vocabulary. The practice tests on Prep Agent are great. 
One of the things that made me nervous going into the test is that the practice tests on PrEP agent were significantly different from ACEable agent. ACEable agents were much easier and I didn't know who to believe in terms of how's the test gonna be. And you wanna go in as prepped as possible. So to get the best idea I could of exactly what the test was gonna be, I went to Pearson's View, Pearson View's website and I went ahead and downloaded their practice test. It cost $20, but it was 100% worth it to get to see what kind of questions they were gonna ask and what kind of answers uh, the answers were gonna look like and, and exactly what I was gonna be getting. So I went 100% recommend paying that $20 and getting that out of the way. Um, doing that about a week prior to your test, I think really is beneficial. I took my test only a week and a half after finishing the sixth course. Again, I think that's partially partial credit due to why I finished uh, on the first try was because I'd, I'd condensed that knowledge uh, and studied so much just in that short time. That doesn't mean I'm 100% ready to go out on the, on the street yet and act as an agent, but it got me through the test and now we can move forward. Speaking of uh, the national test, again, like I said, vocab, vocab, vocab. Get yourself through knowing your vocab, and from day one, make vocab a priority uh, the day you start your, your tests and your quizzes, as well as just the courses in general. When you start your courses, if you put a focus on vocab from the beginning, you're gonna get through the tests just fine. <laughs> Next up is the state test. The state test was significantly harder than the national exam. There's never a good feeling when you go into a test and you do not get the first question right off the bat. Uh, I instantly knew I, I didn't know that question and that's kind of a gut punch. Maybe you haven't prepared properly, right? Uh, turned out, you know, that I passed, good result, but really kind of a confidence knocker in the fact that you don't know that first question. What I noticed in the state exam from Trek is that details, details, details. Vocabulary will not save you on the state exam. So what I recommend to do to practice and to prepare yourself for the state exam is practice tests. They help a little bit to understand what concepts may be on the test, but they don't go into near enough detail. So one of the tips I got from YouTube was go to the Trek page and go to their FAQs and go through the FAQs uh, two or three times in the days leading up to the test and really make sure you understand the details of what they're looking for. And I'm talking about when they ask you about what kind of continuation uh, training you need as a brand new salesperson, you need to know every single thing that they want you to know from that page. Uh, I also recommend going through the Trek rules page and reading it top to bottom once or twice. Really make sure you're paying attention to the details and not just understanding the concepts. Concepts are great and they'll get you through the national exam, but Trek really has a focus on details for their test on the state exam. Without knowing the details, you will not make it through that test on the first try. I'll be honest, when I turned in my test, I was pretty confident that I had not passed. Uh, and I guess I got lucky that some of my reasoning for how I answered some of the questions actually were right. So let's talk about how I take tests and why I think that makes me successful and maybe you'll get some benefit from it as well. So when I take a test, I go through the test the first try. A lot of people have the opinion, answer the easy questions first and then go back and answer the hard ones. I don't like that so much. I actually go through and I force myself to answer every single question on the test. And what I do is I mark down any question that I don't know that I'm 100% right on on the first try. At the end of the test, so for example, with the state exam, or excuse me, the national exam, it's 80 questions, I mark down how many I had wrong, or excuse me, I didn't know 100%. At the end of it, I can see very clearly if I'm close to passing or not passing. So for example, yesterday, there were uh, 80 questions or 85 questions on the national exam and you can miss uh, over 20 questions. I had seven questions marked down. So after I see that, one, I have a great feeling that I'm doing well on the test. I go back and I go through those questions and I reason through those questions and I work through those problems with the time I have remaining. Once I've gotten through the questions I can, I go back to the beginning of the test and I go through every single question one more time. When I go through the third time through the test, I'm looking for two things. I'm looking for making sure I actually answered the questions because there's nothing more foolish than leaving a question unanswered. And then I go through to make sure I didn't make any silly last minute mistakes that might trip me up or cost me one or two uh, questions that I would have gotten right. 
This works for most tests. However, on the state and national exams, there are extra questions embedded that are fake or data gatherers for TREC and um, the national uh, testing. So it kind of throws off your numbers a little bit, but what it does help if at the end of the test you get to the end and you can only miss nine and you have 11 marks, you know you probably need to really go through that test and make sure all of your concepts that you were going through uh, are right. One of the other things that I recommend is if there's a question that you don't know, write down what the concept was about or write down a part of the question that will help you remember what the question was. For the rest of the test, make sure that that concept is not mentioned again. If it is, it's probably mentioned in a different format and you can use the format of that new question to actually help you answer the other question. And that's one of the things I found as well. Uh, and I found in, in tests all over test taking and, and test makers, they, they seem to put questions and answers in the test that are worded differently that help you answer other questions. And yesterday I was able to answer two or three questions on both the state and national exam because of that. Look, hey, I hope this helps you guys out. If you have any questions or comments, comment below, subscribe to this channel. The goal of this channel really is to take you all through my real estate journey. I did get picked up by a broker yesterday immediately after um, passing the tests. So more to come on that and I'm excited to share that with you. And uh, hopefully as, as this channel continues and my journey continues, we'll take you guys on through some property walkthroughs. We'll go through some real estate concepts that I think will help you pass the state and national exam, as well as just be successful in real estate investing and real estate sales as a whole. And then hopefully you guys can see me learn and grow as an agent and I can be uh, able to mentor some of you. Again, like I said, subscribe to the channel, comment below if you have questions, and if there's anything I can do to help, please reach out. See you guys later.